here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you all again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is episode three in my The Pioneer Woman Inspired Decor Series. I'm so excited today. <laughs> I'm gonna be working on my TV credenza, just the top of it, which I've already decorated some of it, but I'm fixing to do a centerpiece for on it. And I'm gonna be working on a lantern swag uh, to go beside my cozy corner ladder on the right-hand side of the credenza. So I'm really looking forward to this, and I'm gonna to try to finish up the, the bold pioneer woman look all the way across the room. And then as we move into the room here to the ivy table and on into the kitchen, the palette is gonna soften somewhat just because I, I can't afford to go out and augment uh, everything like I have been doing with that part of the room, but it is still gonna give the Pioneer Woman stuff a nod. Trust me on that. So, but anyway, I hope all is well with everyone. And, and the other day was my live and I had such a good time on that. And oh my goodness, I couldn't believe that all the wonderful conversations we had and the stuff we talked about and showed you my haul, which you'll see a good many of those items in this video <laughs> today. So, but anyway, without further ado, I'm going to not yammer here too much longer because I do have a lot to do, well, a good bit to do, stuff that's going to take me a little bit of time. We're going to make a funky bow swag, as I said. Well, I made it set of swag, but we're going to make a funky bow swag for this lantern. And I changed my mind about the inside of it, and I'll show you what I mean there in a second. But anyway, let me move my camera over here to my right, your left, and we're going to get started doing the centerpiece for this, there you can see what I'm gonna put in the lantern instead of, and I'll explain that when I get to it, instead of that fairy. If you look back there on that corner shelf, you might be able to see those bows I made, the very first, you know, that I had on the mantle that I took down and my green metal piece on the top of that. And I'm, I'm working on that in my mind and I just sat that fairy over there and I think that it's gonna be really pretty over there. But anyway, I'm sitting here taking the uh, price tags off, sorry, the price tags off of these little flowers here. I think I'm gonna use a few of these in this arrangement. And again, I'm going to, you know, make it, try to make it look like the Pioneer Woman's decor here and, and that I'm going to be combining all of the colors that I've been using throughout. I'll leave it in, I, I went and picked out my, whoops, I've got my battery pack here my red tray here. I use this for my red and white gingham decor and also for the, well, which was for the uh, family reunion. So, but I'm going to go ahead and use the same uh, garland, flower garland that I've had in there. Actually all winter it was just covered with other stuff, you know, uh, in this other tray that I have. That was a more of a, I can't reach it or I'd show it to you. <laughs> Oh, uh, let's see. This is what I had it in before. And I was going to leave it in there because this actually matches that teapot a little bit, but there's too much other red out there. The teapot looks fine sitting out there because it has the green top and the green handle, and it looks fine. But this was just like, I was like, oh, no, no. No, no, no. Can't use this. Can't use this. So I picked out, I got a couple of red frames to put my girl's pictures in. I'm going to do that here. And I got this red tray out. So let me drop my camera down so you guys can watch me do this little arrangement not going to take but just a minute or two to do this I hope but again I got here's the flower ring that I've used in here well that's a <laughs> that is a cinnamon stick that I had in here I don't know where it went it just went that away and I got this flower ring oh I think at Michael's last fall sometime or the end of the summer but anyways you can see it's got reds and yellows and all kinds of goodness in there that's going to just pair very nicely with all of my pioneer woman stuff all 
Alrighty, there we go. And let's see, I bought some, this is all the stuff that I got from Hobby Lobby yesterday. I'll take the tags off of it. And you can see, I'm just gonna leave the yellow candle in there. I'm just gonna lay some of this yellow. My goodness, this battery pack is getting on my last nerve here. Hang on, let me get it out of the way. There we go. <laughs> Did I say this was episode three? I don't know how many episodes we're gonna have in this. Not gonna be too, too many, I don't think. Let's see, see, after this will probably be the ivy table and the kitchen. I'll probably be able to do both of those in one video. I might add the footage for that funky bow I did over there. Then I have to do my three tier tray, you know. Gotta do that for the kitchen, that's gonna be cute. And I think one more, I'll do this. Good thing, because I only bought four. <laughs> And there we go. All right, now, I noticed one is lighter color yellow than the other three. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put that one in the back. Didn't notice that when I bought them. Dummy. But you can't really see the back of this. There we go. bought some of these. I bought three, I buy three tufts of them? Three tufts of them. Put it in the front. I'm just gonna put it in the back, kind of sticking out a little bit in the back. Then of course I bought these. I've been unwrapping here. And of course I need to stick some of these in, huh? Because so we need the teal color for sure. we go. I think that'll do it. Just a little accent flower arrangement. Pretty, huh? Alrighty. And that does it with that. Easy peasy, huh? I only have one of these left, though. Oh, well. <laughs> Let me get rid of my trash here. I think that speaks to Pioneer Woman, huh? Most definitely. All righty, now, let me switch out my pictures. What I used this class, this one for last. <laughs> Remember, I made all those bows and took them to the Christmas get together and pick a bow for free, free to go into a free to go to a good home. <laughs> and they were all gone. But now I'm going to put my girls' pictures in here. This is an easy way to 
just give your decor just a little bit of a facelift, you know? Just simply put your pictures, if you display pictures, in a different color frame. How easy is that, huh? That's Kristen. And put this back together. Maybe I'll put her up in her red shirt, huh? That would look pretty. I have them both dressed in black here. So actually, I'll keep them in black. So if I put Candace in red and Kristen not in red, they actually, they dress themselves. I just picked pictures. <laughs> How they were dressed, obviously. And Merry Christmas. Stay on there. For the family reunion, I had pictures in red and, you know, my theme was red and white gingham, mason jars, and Gerber daisies. And I had changed out all the pictures in the house into red frames like this, red and white frames, and had them sitting everywhere. So everybody could, and I had put pictures of the family, you know, throughout. That was a cool little thing. All righty, there we go. So the pictures are ready. Now, all right, now we're gonna start working on the lantern. Well, we'll do the funky bow first, how about that? Well, no, let me do the inside of the lantern first. <laughs> Hang on. All right, let's see here. Keep the girls up here for a little bit, huh? Okay, I decided, like I said, that the fairy was just not going to go with this part of the decor. By the time we get around and over to this corner back here, it, that corner is going to be lighter and airier and still a nod to the Pioneer Woman, but with lighter colors. So I decided I don't have a shorter candle, and I, if I get out and about again, I will get a shorter candle I'd rather have. I want to use this because, as you know, I use this in two other places, one on the hearth, one on Chris's subwoofer, and so I wanted to bring this over to this side of the room, too, to the side of the room I'm working on, but I don't want to use the jute or this twine, and you, as you can see, it holds this metal together. Okie dokie, I'm back. Now, I am going to make this a big, funky bow. I'm going to make it the strips 26 inches long so that I have some big long tails to work with and I'm going to use the same four colors that I've been using because I really like I said I'm trying to keep the same feel going over to this that side of the room so let me get to cutting here and I will do all my cutting and then come back to make the bow but let me show you on my board here 26 inches And I want a 16 loop bow, I think. Yeah. So I need four of each. Four times four is 16. So I want four strips of each color, 26 inches long. I want the big wide ribbon. I want this to be one big loud funky bow. <laughs> Two, three, and I did, I did, thank goodness, I bought one more of these. This is all I have. I think this is all I need though. I'm doing the first four here and then I'm gonna show you how I dovetail and then I'll speed through the rest of the cutting. So all I do is pile them all up, and this is thin ribbon. So it's wired, but it's thin. And then I fold it in half lengthwise. Most people go to the fold, I go to the edge. <laughs> it's just the way I was taught or the way I taught myself. But 
A lot of, I do it backwards from what everybody else does, or most people do it anyway. So, but anyway, that's how I do it. And that gives me a nice finished edge. What is, and it's called a dove, dove's tail, a dovetail. 2 points. All right. I will be back when I get all my ribbon cut. Okie dokie. I'm back and ready to start making this bow. And as you see, I have all of the ribbons laid out in the order in which I want to pick them up. This doesn't make any difference as far as the bow is concerned because it's all a jumble when you're all done, but it makes me feel better to start out with it kind of in a pattern. <laughs> So as I said, each length is 26 inches long, which means I want eight inch tails and a five inch loop. So if I go to eight and then eight to 18 is 10 inches, that gives me enough material that I can pull together to make a five inch loop and then, and then eight inch, an eight inch tail on this side. But as I said in the other, episodes in this series, in reality, you just need to fold it in half. <laughs> and pinch right there at five inch, at a five inch loop, you go to the back tail and twist. No matter if it's one or two sided ribbon, because really the texture sometimes is a little different. So I always go back there and, and twist it regardless. So I'm just going to pick up the next ribbon in line, next piece of ribbon in line, and find myself five inches and pinch it together rate of five inches and this is a 16 loop bow which means it's an even numbered bow so I'm going to instead of switching directions with each ribbon I'm going to do the first time through the pattern of each material of each ribbon up from center center being my thumb I'm going to point that loop up and then the next time through, you'll see I'll point the loop down from center. And that will help mix up the bow a little bit. Go to the back and twist. And then the yellow polka dots. Does this scream Pioneer Woman or what? It really does. Pioneer Woman inspired. <laughs> she does inspire me too. has inspired me throughout this part of my decor, that's for sure. All right, there we go. First four loops up from center, up from my thumb. Next four, we're gonna point down from center. Again, folding it in half, finding a five inch loop, pinching it together. And I always like to pull my loops up and toward the center. Go to that back tail twist and Bring the right side forward, which you can really see on this red polka dot. Pinch, roll it up, and twist. Pinch. got upside down, but they're upside down, sorry. <laughs> now we're gonna start again. We're going to switch directions now that we've started again on our pattern. We're going to switch directions again and go up from center, my thumb being center. As you can see, I've got quite the handful of ribbon here. That's okay. That's what I want. I want a big, funky bow. 
I still have four more to go after I get these four on, don't I? That's okay. This is something you'll see right when you walk in the front door too. This this lantern, the way it sits and it's in it, the way it points. So whenever anybody comes in the front door, this is the first thing, one of the first things they'll see as they look into the family room. So that's another reason why I kind of like to make it big and bold and pretty. Not that my other ones aren't pretty, but just, you know what I mean. Make a statement. Ooh, my hand is hurting. And... And then one more time through the pattern, and we're going to point it the other direction and go down from center. The whole distance between my thumb and my forefinger is taken up with ribbon. Got a handful of ribbon. my dog snoring. I've got Gracie here beside me and Sam is in, laying on the family room the carpet. I can hear them both snoring. <laughs> Gracie snores worse than Sam though. Always has. She's always been a big snorer. And one more. That's it. Woo! My hand is going, thank goodness. I can barely move it. And I understand those of you who have arthritis, it's, it, this is difficult. I've heard some people use a clothespin, and I don't know, I should have Chris invent something, huh? Put his engineering uh, skills to use, huh? <laughs> anyway, you take your pipe cleaner, and you lay it over beside your thumb and kind of lift your thumb and snug it underneath your thumb and pull it around to the back. And pull that ribbon, use this hand as a resistance and yank on it, pull it as tight as you can and twist. Before I go any further, before I do any uh, fluffing, I get a piece of this red and I'm going to snug it into the back of this pipe cleaner before I put anything else on here because that is what I would use to tie it onto the lantern. I'm going to give myself a good bit so that I'm sure I won't have to make little, little bitty bows that I had to the other day. sides down and again before I go any further before I start fluffing out this bow the next thing I want to do is I want to tie in well you've seen it back here I've got this piece of pip berry and I had used it for that lantern up there on the top of my desk a while back but I'm going to go ahead and use it for this one here and I want it to curl down on either side of the lantern. I don't want it to stick up. You know, some of the ones with my bunny heads stuck up, you know, at the top. But I don't want this one to do that. I want it to, because the TV is right there and there's a lot going on over there anyway. So I want to just have it, you know, do kind of a semicircle right around this lantern. So I'm going to tie this into the back of this pipe cleaner first before I tie this on my lantern. And then we'll figure out if we want to stick anything else in this or if we just want to leave it just with the pip berries. Okay, can do a little bit of 
fluffing here before we get it up on the lantern. Sometimes they like it better on the lantern. That way I can make it really go the way I want. Let me put my camera up a little bit. Why is it gonna be working? Up a little higher from now on. strips of red here. And I'm just going to tie this right to the little top piece. Show you here in a second once I get everything out of my way. Yeah. See that? That's why I use the, the the more narrow ribbon. You can see I'm pulling that. I'm going to cinch this really tight so that I can pull that pipe cleaner right up against this part of the lantern, right where the the pipe cleaner ties on really tight so that I can really get in and work with that bow. Okay, that's the little handle. Stay out of my way. Look, I have enough ribbon to make a decent bow with. Yay. <laughs> Nobody really sees anyway except for you guys. But this makes it easy to pull it right on and off of the lantern. And and it will be easy to put it right back on if I so choose later. There we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut these up. You hear Gracie? Pretty. All right, now let me turn this around this way. Wow. Nice. Now, I think I'm going to use blue. I just didn't know. Either one, though, would be pretty, wouldn't it? But when you see everything else over there, I think you'll agree with me that the blue is a little better. Plus, I have a lot of red, so I want to use some blue. I think it's pretty. Okay. Handy dandy cable tie. I want this over to the side a little bit.
Hello. Loving this. Got me some red. I'm working pretty fast, aren't I? I'm sorry about that. I'm just kind of, and I know I'm quiet. <laughs> but I just, I just have an idea, and I want to just bring it to fruition, huh? And the reason I'm going ahead and doing these before I do the bow so much is I want to have them in position. Now, I do have some of this yellow. Let me see. Oh, hello. Those I'm going to have to tie in. And yes, I do use big, long, I should say, long cable ties because of my fingernails and because the little ones I can't see either. Somebody asked me that in one of my, in one of my Q and A's. Why do you use? long cable ties. You know they make short ones. I said, yes, I know. <laughs> you got to do what works for you, you know? All right. Let's see. I'm loving this. I love working with these bright and pretty colors like this. Ugh. It just makes you happy, you know? Okay, I do have some other blue too. Did I bring any of that out here? Yeah, I did. Got these kind of blue, uh oh, sorry, spiky things. My back is really hurting. I had to sit down, you guys. Whew. You know what? I kind of like just the, with the yellow coming out there, I kind of like that. I think I might just concentrate up higher with the blue, just having it around the bow. You know. Something like that. Maybe down here. All right, I'm gonna glue all that in and then I'll revisit and see if I need to add more. I'm loving this, you guys. Look. To fix the bow, and I have to, you know, tame the tails a little bit, but it's coming together. I'm pull my glue gun over here. I 
to, I'm going to have to turn it a bit, you guys. Because I can only reach so far with my glue gun here. What I'm going to do, you guys, I'm going to go over on my kitchen counter because I can see it better over there. I can't see it. I need it up higher. So I'll be right back. I'm going to turn off for a second and we're going to go over on the on the island. Yeah, I'm back yeah. and I've been playing with the bow just a little bit and I'm actually not minding the, the all the tails in the back. I'll turn it so you can see it here in a second. But I'm just going to add a couple more red flowers, I think to the mix. Just because I think they're pretty. I found found this little blue bird so I thought I'm not liking this tail up here Where's my scissors this one is See how I just did that? I didn't like all that, all this floral together. So I just pulled that blue up in there. You can manipulate this stuff however you want it to go. And you make it go the way you like it, you know? Let me see here. Where should I put the little birdie? So cute. I do have a couple butterflies too, and I have a little bird with a little bit of yellow on her. I don't think I need the butter. They're a little blingy, I think. I think I'm going to leave well enough alone. These yellow polka dots are a little bit... Well, guys, I am just about ready to call this done. Other than maybe we need a little yellow up in the bow, huh? Yeah. I'm just playing now, you know. Y'all can see, these are not hard to make. It's just a matter of patience and 
picking your ribbons. That's the most important thing, I think, in my opinion. Picking your ribbons and picking your florals to go with your ribbon. I think that's, you know, playing with color. You don't want to mess around too much out of this, you know, um, I'm, I'm messing around enough in the, within this color scheme, but I've cut to the color scheme. You know, I haven't, uh, so that whole section of my house up there has got this color scheme running all through it. And I just can't afford to do my whole bottom level like that this year. Maybe next year I can pull some more in. But I think that now that I'll get that, that end done up there, all in this kind of Pioneer Woman inspired decor. And then I'm going to pull it on out here to the ivy table. I've already got ideas there. And oh, let me show you something while I'm thinking about it. to show you this in my live yesterday or the day before yesterday whenever I get this up I'm not sure when you guys will see this but I did get this at Walmart the other day so I'm going to I don't know what I'm gonna put in it it's gonna be some kind of flower arrangement uh, or something maybe with candles I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do with it or it could just be a flower arrangement I don't know but that's gonna be on the ivy table so there will be something pioneer woman <laughs> on the ivy table and I'm not even sure I haven't thought too much what I'm gonna do I've got the top shelf I, you know I know what I'm doing up there but as far as the on top of the table not quite sure yet so I'm working on that but man I'm loving this this is so pretty even if I say so myself more yellow okie dokie folks I'm back and I really did not like the way that other bow was looking as I looked at it in through the lantern I needed another pop of color in there and I went out in my garage and I actually found a red candle. Even though it is kind of a big candle again, it is red. So I think I'm going to you know, keep with the idea of putting the, uh, the yellow around it. But I, I just didn't like the cream, you know. It just wasn't doing it for me. And I'm not sure I'm going to love the red either, but I like the red a lot more. And I like the, the yellow... Uh, ribbon a lot better than I did the florally one. You couldn't see it inside there. It kind of the cream blended in too much with the lantern. So I switched that out a little bit. Let me see if I can get this back in here now. There we go. I like that a lot better already. All right, there we go. Didn't do too much else with it. I just added uh, a couple more flowers and I finished up using all the rest of the blue, which was on here, and just put them here and there. And I actually added some stuff to the back too, just a little bit. So, but that's it. So I will be back with some final words in front of the camera here and then I'll take you over and show you everything once I get everything into place. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back in just a second. Hey everyone, I'm back. What a day this has been, huh? I am, I know I always say it, and I'm gonna say it again, I'm super happy with how this lantern turned out. I am loving this, oh my goodness. Look, first look at that yellow polka dotted bow inside in the red, on the red candle holder. I love it. So much better. So much better. 
And then this funky bow swag. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love it. Oh my goodness. And even on the back, it's just, it just has a mind of its own, doesn't it? Oh my goodness. I love it. So, and as you can see in my kitchen, did you see what I did right there? Right there. I had those bowls. I had hauled them, I don't know, last summer when I first came up with this idea. <laughs> if you all remember, I went out and bought this stuff right before I, I changed over to my fall decor. And I said, oh my goodness, we're going to have to do fall, then Christmas, then cozy country, then Easter. And then next spring, summer, we'll do the Pioneer Woman Inspired. So I've been talking about this decor for almost a year. Well, not quite, you know, but in the summertime last year anyway. And that's when I bought those bowls. And I've been hearing, somebody told me that it's a thing now to put your bowls in your kitchen, you know, in your uh, mixer. And I think it looks good. I love it like that. I might even choose the, the middle bowl. That's the biggest bowl. I don't know whether they usually, if any of you know, let me know uh, if they use the bigger or the medium bowl. I have the mixing bowls, you know, the, the three. So, but regardless, I am super happy. And that end of the family room is now complete with the Pioneer Woman inspired decor. And I think, wait till you see it. I think I'm really happy with it, you guys. I was really nervous about this, to be quite honest, because I, you know, like I said, you know, all the decor that you guys have seen up until now, except for some of my Easter stuff, you know, I didn't, I hadn't done any of the, some, most of the Easter stuff. But my fall stuff I've been doing and my Christmas stuff for, you know, for a while now. So, you know, I do the same things and maybe I'll switch it up a little bit next year. Who knows? But uh, this is really the first time that I've started from scratch on a decor and really have embraced it. I love it. Not the first time I've embraced it. I embrace all my decors. You know that. <laughs> but I've really enjoyed this. And and taxing myself has been good for me. It's, it's good that I've presented myself with a challenge. You know, I love a challenge. And I like to, you know, meet that challenge head on. <laughs> so... All right, I'm gonna go and put this into place and then I'll take a final video to my ending music of, of everything back there, the fireplace all the way across to the cozy corner. And, uh, and then next up will be episode four and that will probably be the ivy table in this kitchen. And then one more after that, probably that'll be one, I'm not gonna have as many <laughs> episodes in this series, of course. And then the next one will be probably that corner cabinet, the hutch and the, the uh, kitchen table lantern centerpiece. That ought to be a good one. Probably won't be quite as big as this one because that sits underneath that lamp over there. So the, you know, the chandelier. But anyway, I'm yammering. <laughs> What's new? I have no idea how long this video is. Probably pretty long and my apologies. Uh, but you know, the creative process takes a while, I guess, doesn't it? <laughs> but let me just say while I'm looking at you, like I always say, I hope that all is well with everyone and that there's nothing that's uh, causing you to struggle with your health. I hope that everybody's health is doing okay and that the chronic illnesses are, are staying at bay and not keeping you away from doing what you want to be doing or should be doing. Also, I hope there's nothing nagging at you. I know how that is. I've had that happen to me before in my life that, you know, something's nagging on your mind and in your heart and you just can't concentrate on what you want to be concentrating on. So I hope that none of that is happening with any of you and all of you are having wonderful days. <laughs> and uh, the other thing I always want to say now is remember in crafting, there are no mistakes, only unique. I don't think you're going to see another one of these <laughs> unique creations. <laughs> So I'll just say here, but I'm coming back behind the camera, but I'll say here until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye. Be back behind the camera. Okie dokie, everyone. Here we go. <laughs> I'm all finished setting everything up. Let's start over here with the bless your heart. Remember that is a kind of like a picture. It sits up like a picture frame does. 
Here are those little lanterns that I got from at home. And my Pioneer Woman plates that I got at Walmart the other day. And there's that centerpiece. And my girls' pictures. And my teapot. Yay, my teapot. I love that little teapot. <laughs> and that pretty runner. I just love the runner on that table. That really just pulls it all together. I love it. And then here's the cozy corner. My six-foot ladder. And that's my grandmother's... I think I had somebody hit my basket down there. That's my grandmother's uh, sewing basket underneath the Pioneer Woman placemat. And I just tied a towel underneath that little table that holds my new lantern with the funky bow swag. So happy with this thing, you guys. Honest to goodness. And then there's the metal piece I got at Hobby Lobby. And then that's just one of those flowers from Kirkland's that I got, the fabric flowers. I just stuck that there because there was kind of a hole there. <laughs> Trying to fill it in. And then there's that basket with the teal colored daisy. And of course, y'all have seen the other two flowers, those red flowers and the little owl. <laughs> Just wanted to find something to sit on the basket. So that's it. And it's pulled all together on this end of the room, I think. You know, with this cozy corner here. And the hearth. And the mantle. I didn't do anything with that. And I'm not doing anything with the staircase either, you guys. The staircase is going to stay as is but this end of the room is sure looking like it's pioneer woman inspired huh wow i am super happy with this super super happy but anyway that's it for episode three and i will be back with episode four probably next week i would imagine <laughs> so we'll finish up next week i, I think doing the ivy table and the kitchen and the kitchen table and look at my mess over there. My mess on my island and on the kitchen table. <laughs> and then I'll do my hutch and that corner cabinet back there too. Top of the desk is staying as is because I like it like that. I think it's really pretty. Kind of my nod to the farmhouse. I really like that. But all right, that's it, you guys. So until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.